I was soldering up some of uh, these uh, voltage dividers and when I got done, well of course you want to test them, so I got out my uh, power supply and some jumper wires and my VOA meter and I hook everything up and and wow, the readings were just like totally off. <laughs> I was like, no, I, I couldn't have done the math that badly. I mean, you know, this is a pretty standard thing and, and uh, so I thought, okay, maybe something's wrong so I measured the output on the on the uh, voltage supply and it was good and then I started checking these things and uh, yeah let's do a close-up on this he's just really disappointing but let's uh, take a look and see what's going on let's uh, take a look at what's going on with this clip and look at that I mean can you see that the wires aren't even attached um, and they're all like that. I mean, some of the better ones, let me grab another one. Um, here's a red one. Now, let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but the the wire is just tucked underneath there and then it's clamped over. And you may say, well, that, that's not bad. You know, if it's clipped in there right, it's okay. But when you got copper and then you got dissimilar metals and they sit around for a while, well, you know, they corrode and uh, they kind of work on each other. So, yeah, uh, you know, a couple months ago I was making a, a video about how uh, one of these burned up because I wasn't careful and I hooked it up to a battery to use it for charging. But now that I think about it, they all burned right here at that connection where the wire goes into the alligator clip. And, yeah, they're all like this. I mean, they're all just, they're, they're not soldered, they're not clipped properly. Um, you, you order this stuff online anymore and you get real real garbage. Every one of these is like this. So I'm going to have to go back and, you know, strip the wire out, get some clean copper, and then solder it in there and then recrimp it, of course. So, yeah, uh, just a public service announcement when you get stuff online anymore. I buy this cheap junk, you uh, got to go through and check it because it's not just an inconvenience. I mean, like in the case of the battery, it actually caught fire. So if I hadn't had it sitting in a stainless steel sink, I could have had some problems. Okay, well that's it. Uh, kind of a short video today, but uh, something you should be aware of. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics projects.